Hello everyone, Mozen here. Welcome back to another game in our speedrun series. So we've done a little bit of a rating jump. We've climbed all the way above 2000 now. And this is where things are starting to get uh, quite tricky, in fact. Okay, let's let's go for... Should we go Italian? Let's go Italian. Bishop c4. We can play the move pawn to d4 here. This would be the old variation or the Gyoko piano. Or we can just play the move pawn to d3, which is what most people play nowadays. So d3, h6, which is castle. Now we are maybe threatening d4 because there's no bishop to b4 check in these positions. Now this is a very modern line actually. This h6 idea, a lot of the time they want to play the move pawn to g5. You just keep the king in the center and then go for an immediate attack. It's quite dangerous if you don't know what to do against it. So the most important thing here is that you don't give them an anchor point with a move such as h3 because this would just open up a target for your king. And d6 was to meet d4 by giving the bishop and the pawn some support here on e5. I'll play the move pawn to a4. So, so this is a sneaky idea. Just preparing the move pawn to b4 and perhaps trapping the bishop. Which white sees, uh, black sees, which is, which is good. Now I suppose we can play the move knight b to d2. Just continue our development. Uh, we're looking to play the move rook to e1, maybe drop the knight back here to the f1 square. Castles. Okay now, a typical idea for white in these positions is to expand with the move pawn to b4 and then grab space on the queen side. But since black has played the move pawn to a6 already, if he does play a5, he's going to waste a move in order to do so. But sometimes they still do this. So you'll see a lot of games where black will push the pawn to a5. Even sometimes they lose a move, they still prefer to put the pawn here just to stop this b4 advance. So I think in general, this b4 advance is quite good for white. So I will grab some space here with b4. Now if I go rook e1 here, there might be some knight g4 I have to watch out for, which can be a bit annoying. So maybe I should play h3 just to stop that. There's also queen to b3. But okay, I'll start with h3. Then maybe I go rook e1, knight f1 or queen b3 type of ideas. So knight to e7. So this is a typical reroute of the knight to g6 in this structure. I think we should play d4 now. I mean, at some point you want to play d4, grab some space, but if you play d4, sometimes they take, take, and play d5, which is also a bit annoying. And d5 is coming in a lot of positions as well. Need to watch out for this. There's queen to b3 as well. There's a few different options we can can go for. There's also the move rook to e1. I might start rook e1. It just stops d5 in a lot of positions because the e5 pawn will be hanging. What I might do is just play knight f1 and then get rid of this dark squared bishop. The dark squared bishop is one of black's most dangerous pieces. So b5. So the idea of b5, by the way, is that if I take, take twice with the bishop, 
then black will open up an attack here with the move bishop takes f2 and these rooks will be lined up so that it was a black's yes, tactical justification for that previous move I'm just going to play very simple chess just play knight, knight to f1 Just want to see what black is black is up to okay it looks like black is trying to set up the move knight to e5 not to f4 sorry maybe now i play d4 yeah maybe now i play d4 just to shut that bishop out of the game so this is the best piece for black so a lot of the time we want to shut this piece out of the game and putting the pawn on d4 here is a useful way to do so. Takes. Mm, take back at the knight. I mean, take back the knight wins a tempo here on the knight and also prepares knight to c6. Oh no, but, but then if we move our knight, there could be possibility of knight f4, queen g5 coming, which would be very dangerous for our king. Uh, I might just leave the knight to defend this g5 square from the queen. With the bishop blocked also, there's no more tactics with bishop takes f2. I don't know, can I take here? I feel like I can take here on b5. Because if, if pawn takes, I have bishop to d5. Pretty sure this is working. Now my, my rook is attacking the bishop, so if the rook moves, I can capture the bishop. There's no tactics here with bishop takes d4. Unfortunately, bishop takes d4, we just capture the rook. Uh, I don't think there's anything here for black. So knight f4. I mean, what, there's, there's maybe some bishop takes h3 type of ideas, perhaps. Is it working? I'm not exactly sure it's, if it's actually working. I mean, bishop takes h3. I might just take everything. Check. Bishop takes, knight check. King here. I don't... I don't see any checkmates, so... I may as well go. Bishop takes rook. Yeah, bishop b6 can't be can't be correct move here. Cause now I can start to offer some trade to pieces with knight to g3. Takes a take here. Knight to g3. I don't think there's any sacrifices here for black. Oh, he, he goes for it anyway. So I, I will have to take that. Takes, takes. Other than that, everything else is defended. It's, there shouldn't be anything. Okay, so this pawn is being attacked, so we need to do something about that. So my 
Start with bishop e3 just to defend the pawn. Bishop g4, we can play rook f1. Shouldn't be anything. Now we trade queens. Queen f3. You can even trap the bishop here with the move pawn to g4 if black is not careful. So I happily trade off everything. So bishop takes, we go bishop takes. That's fine. Bishop here. Maybe. We just take that. Now we just have to checkmate the king. We have rook check coming. I think it's forced mate. So we had a very, you know, mainline-ish Italian type of position. As white, we sort of just played all the normal looking moves. Didn't really try to do anything too fancy. So the idea of b5, by the way, I just mentioned that if takes, 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 then black has to move bishop takes f2 opening up the rooks and this would have picked up the rook so that's why we can't take twice on b5 so this would be winning for black that's why we drop the bishop back to b3 and then we just do this very typical maneuver as you always do in the italian drop the knight back to f1 now this knight can hop into f4 as it did in the game which was slightly annoying but with the pawn on d4 at least we can guarantee that this bishop is locked out of the game and this was quite handy in the game because the bishop never got in which means that this attack wasn't quite as strong as what it would have been and we see that white has a very healthy advantage here and yeah here black actually blundered with the move pawn takes because bishop d5 is clearly better for, for white I mean it looks dangerous here but th there's no real attack because this bishop is just locked out of the game so black is forced to s sacrifice some pieces here but it's not enough to break through okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this game uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next one take care